To create a new layer, come over to the menu and right click right over the first base layer. Menu will pop up and here you want to choose create. This will create a new layer and place it right on top of our first layer, our base layer. And with this layer selected, and it's very important that you select the layer where you want to apply the changes onto. So I have my layer one selected. I'm going to go ahead and choose the tools that I want to use. In this case, I want to sculpt the initial blackout of the terrain. I'm going to modify a few settings and begin sculpting the terrain. Whatever I sculpt will be placed into the selected layer. And once you have something sculpted, you can go back to your layer and you can disable its visibility to see what you've done by clicking on this eye icon. And it's not doing it in real time until I update the viewport by moving my mouse in it. So to see everything in real time, make sure you have real time enabled. So whatever I just sculpted, these mountains, these shapes are contained within this one layer. While we still have our base layer, the fly landscape untouched. And this is the power of landscape layers. Next, let's create another layer and we're going to sculpt some detail. I'm going to right click, choose create, and I'm going to go ahead and rename this layer to detail. I'm going to choose the erosion tool, adjust a few settings, and then begin to apply. And I'm just going to go ahead and quickly create some erosion, some detail on what I've sculpted. And again, it's very important that you have that layer selected onto which you want to apply this detail to. This way, this detail, this erosion is contained within that one layer. I'm going to toggle layer visibility to see what effect it created. And I'm going to lower the alpha, the intensity of the layer to 0.75. So it's not as strong. And then I'm going to create another layer. And on this layer, I'm going to apply noise to the terrain. I'm going to rename the layer to noise. Then select the noise tool. Adjust a few settings. And then I'm going to begin going over the landscape, painting in the noise, just on that one noise layer. So kind of adding additional detail and some more height map variation. And then the intensity, I think it's a bit too strong. So I'm going to lower the alpha for that layer to 0.8. And this is the basic workflow of working with layers. Whenever you're going to do something to the terrain that changes its height map, you create a new layer for that step, for that process. And then you sculpt, modifying the landscape on that layer. And if you want to learn how to create landscapes and how to use all the sculpting tools so you can create landscapes and use the landscape layers more efficiently, I have a tutorial course that will teach you everything you need to know for how to sculpt landscapes and create landscape materials entirely inside UE4. It's called UE4 Fundamentals Volume 2 Landscapes Essentials. And I highly recommend you pick that up if you want to be more proficient at creating landscapes with UE4.